Yes. Residents near a chemical plant in reserve are expressing new concerns about toxic air at an elementary school. But as kids go back to school, the plant says there's nothing to worry about. Here's eyewitness investigator David Hammer with the latest in our series, The Toxic Truth. In February, EPA Regional Administrator David Gray came to St. John the Baptist Parish to speak to residents who have been worried about toxic air for five years. We need more data. I know that that's tiring. The DuPont Denka chemical plant is the only producer in the country of chloroprene, a chemical used in neoprene suits, hoses, and other elastic items, and it likely causes cancer. In 2015, the Environmental Protection Agency said areas around the plant had the highest cancer risk in the country. In 2017, Denka installed $35 million in control equipment that reduced chloroprene emissions by 85%. A major improvement, but the EPA's gray assured residents the government was still monitoring the issue. It is moving, it, it is improving, and, um, and we're not done, and so we admit we're not done. But two weeks ago, the EPA sent this letter to the state of Louisiana, essentially saying they are done. It announces, quote, plans to remove the community air monitoring network at the end of September. That means the government monitors will be removed and Denka's own monitors will be the only ones left. The EPA said it would monitor for spikes in chloroprene, but that equipment isn't working yet. That worries former EPA scientist Vicki Booth, who now works with local environmental groups. The fact that, that in 2020 you're seeing increases in those average is, is very, very concerning, and especially since those monitors are going to be removed. She analyzed the EPA monitoring data and found the average concentration of chloroprene in the air went up in the first four months of 2020 at the Fifth Ward Elementary School. That's 27 percent higher than the same period in 2019. It tells me that the the children are still exposed to very high levels. Fifth Ward Elementary is half a mile from the Denka site. Kids are scheduled to return to Fifth Ward for in-person classes next week. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Now, Denka disputes the EPA's findings about the risks of chloroprene exposure. It also takes issue with some of Booth's analysis. The St. John School District says it is monitoring the issue and will put the health and safety of its students first.